A heartbreaking development in a drive-by shooting on the east side. The 11-year-old victim has died. Three men have been charged. And tonight, a community activist says this never should have happened. CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey is on your block on the east side with more. For days, many in the area have asked, how could this have happened? After over 20 shots, a young girl is now dead after what police call an unnecessary tragedy. Even criminals need to make better decisions. That was a ridiculous decision, and now they get to be the living example of what happens when you make that type of decision because they're going to spend the rest of their lives in prison if they're convicted. A bold message from Detroit's police chief. Lamara Glenn died after multiple people shot into this home along Pennsylvania Street Tuesday morning. The 11 year old was reportedly sleeping on the couch at the time. We're still working through all of the connectivity there. There's some gang activity we're looking at that we're, we're looking at doing some disruptions and getting those answers. What we're confident in now is the three suspects that we've we've identified. Those three are Takari Turner, Robert Lee Turner Jr. and Nasir Garrett each between the ages of 18 and 20. Area activist Malik Shabazz overall finds the incident disgraceful. He spoke to us from the hospital where he's dealing with health issues. 11 year old child ought to be able to sleep in peace. Us grown folks need to stop bringing children into our nonsense. Shavaz calls the incident an overall disgrace, especially since it's not the first time the home in question has been involved in some type of shooting. When your house is shot up twice, I tend to think that you're up to something. And it's just a shame. Sources say Glenn's an only child. At the time of the shooting, eight others were inside the home. None were injured. For Shabazz, with racial tensions a big topic in recent years, he wants Detroiters to start doing their part to improve the quality of life in the city. But if black lives is going to matter, it needs to matter with us first. Then you go to the white man. Then you go to the government and say black lives matter. As for the three suspects, all of them are facing pretty serious charges. Wayne County prosecutors say they are expecting additional defendants to be charged pertaining to this case. Of course, it's something that will continue to keep you updated on. In Wayne County tonight, Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit.